So where do we as a country get this foreign currency from? Hi there. Excuse me, can I ask you, are you here on holiday? Uh, we are, yes. You're here. Where, are you, where, are you, where have you come from? Oh, wow. From the UK. From the UK. Are you here for long? Mm, three or four days. Enjoying it so far? Fantastic. It's Excellent. Lovely. Oh, thanks very much. Yes. Where, where are you visiting from? Germany. From Germany. Yeah. You enjoying it so far? Yeah. Yeah. How much longer are you here for? We're here for five days. Just in Cape Town? Just in Cape Town, yes. Excellent. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank you. Fun. Scotland. From Scotland. How long are you here for? Hello. Until Sunday. Hi there. Excuse me. Are you here on holiday? Yes, we are on holiday. Excellent. Whereabouts from? From Germany. From Germany. Whereabouts are you from? Holland. From Holland. And how we long are you earn here foreign for? currency when we sell our locally produced goods and services to other countries. In other words, when we export. Let's take a closer look at how this works. Let's pretend that you're an exporter of oranges. You sell oranges to importers in the United States. You send them an invoice, but they'll pay you with US dollars. Remember, the US dollar is an internationally accepted currency, so they can pay you with their own currency. Now, you won't actually receive the US dollars in the post. No, they'll get paid to your bank, which under foreign exchange control regulations converts those US dollars and puts the RAND equivalent into your bank account for you. The US dollars stay in the banking system to become part of South Africa's foreign reserves that are kept by the South African Reserve Bank. So we have a central pool of foreign currency. Now, when a local petrol company needs to import oil, their bank will buy back the required US dollars from the Reserve Bank. 